So who should buy the Roland FB90 and should that be you? Depends on what your needs are. In the review, I peg it as about two-thirds home digital piano and one-third stage piano. If you can live on stage with built-in speakers, which not everyone wants the weight of, and without traditional pitch and modulation wheels, then there is a lot of value here for the money. The supernatural piano sounds and note-by-note -note editability the piano designer in particular make this instrument punch way above its price class. And the built-in speakers sound simply fabulous and get very loud and clean when used with the internal sounds. Again, and the, uh, the piano sounds are just gorgeous. The non-piano, the electric piano, clav, organ sounds, all very, very good. Another thing I should emphasize, which I probably should have in the, in the first clip but didn't, is the keyboard action itself. It feels fantastic. It's a brand new design from Roland that draws uh, on a lot of their best previous actions with a couple of new twists. Fully weighted, fully graded, heavier on the bottom, lighter on the top as a real piano, or a real acoustic piano should be. Wooden sides of the keys, real wood sides, wrapped around a synthetic skeleton. Textured tops, so you have ebony and ivory feel that wicks away moisture and improves finger grip. It feels, again, more like an acoustic piano, as opposed to the uh, slick plastic you see on some digital pianos. Now, having entirely wooden keys would be a really high-end way to go, but the wooden sides around a synthetic frame gives you the realistic feel and realistic response while saving on weight. Uh, I can play this action for hours. It's non-fatiguing. The finger-to-music connection with the different sounds is really great. Here's something I've often found is the case with digital pianos. You turn the sound off, and by the way, around the back of this thing you have a switch that will also turn the external speakers off, internal speakers off if you want. You, know, you, you, you do this and you don't really get much of a feel for it. You have to play it with the sound to really evaluate an action. And when you do that, the subtlety, the finger to music connection is great. I mean, this action plus the supernatural sound engine, you're not going to hear any velocity breaks. You're not going to hear samples out of place because it doesn't use samples. And you're going to get great response with things like the electric pianos as well. I mean, this felt like a grand piano when I was playing it with a piano sound, and it uh, gave a convincing illusion of feeling like my old Rhodes electric piano does when I played it with a Rhodes. <laughs> It just really almost seems to adapt. I know that's physically not happening, but it almost seems to adapt to the uh, type of sound you're playing. At the end of the day, I think the real story with the FP90 is value for the money. Uh, the street price that you'll get told if you go to a music store or look online at online retailers is right around $17.99. And for the physically modeled pianos, plus the uh, Bluetooth app connectivity, uh, plus, all the song recorder can do when you dig into it and maybe drive it from an external source. Uh, it really is an under $2,000 instrument that uh, sounds and plays like a, an over $3,000, maybe even a $5,000 instrument. If you dwell on the stage more, you might want to look at Roland's RD2000. It's got a lot more real-time controls. It's got traditional pitch and modulation controllers. You know, that's more of a, a, a pro keyboardist keyboard that you'd stick in a stack. Uh, this is, um, like I said, about a two-thirds home instrument that provides a stellar core piano-centric experience uh, with just enough extra features and pop vocabulary to have a little bit more range of application and to perhaps keep younger and beginning players interested. I want to leave you with the uh, caveat that this has by no means been a, a comprehensive review in here in these video clips, just some first impressions and some off-the-cuff remarks. Please read my comprehensive review in the spring 2017 edition of Piano Buyer, and please head to Roland.com where they have a lot more audio examples, a uh, downloadable manual so you can check it out for yourself, videos they make because they live and breathe these instruments 24-7. Uh, but for a mainly home instrument that you're going to take on stage or to a wedding gig once in a while that will sound great all by itself or interface with a larger PA system, no problem, that you can use with or without extra candy uh, via apps and Bluetooth uh, for a real-world price of $17.99, you've got to check out the FP90.